Hi everyone. Uh, I want to talk about uh, the concept of belief today uh, because I believe the belief concept is underestimated in, in our culture today. Uh, and when we say belief, generally we kind of merge it with the, with the word uh, religious concepts only. Uh, but actually belief is by itself is a concept I think to be understood by human nature so that it kind of if it's valuable it can get you to the concept of religion it can get you to the concept of faith which is slightly different right and it can get you to the concept of success if you believe in uh, belief if you kind of look at the translations it kind of goes with the acceptance accepting something uh, but if you actually live in the uh, in the world today belief means way more than accept it means that you actually have to be proactive in your actions rather than uh, be passive aggressive right acceptance means like you can ac accept something and move on now you don't have to do anything about that thing like if you accept uh, this is a pen you just have to kind of accept it as a pen and then move on but then belief that me believing in this being a pen requires a continuous action and I just want to talk to you about how that continuous action of believing actually um, changes your perspective uh, to your life and to yourself and to your faith and, and, and to God. Um, I'm going to talk about like three main concepts of how it changes your life, believing in something. You know, if you look at it, believing is actually a connection. Uh, it could be a connection again to God. It could be a connection to, uh, to your goal you know right if you believe in yourself to do something then it creates a connection so you're no longer just yourself then you are for example trying to be as successful as a, a sports person as a soccer player right then now it makes you it elevates you you're not just you but you're a soccer player or if you want to really work in a, a global company and be successful you're not just you now you're the employee of that uh, great company or if you want to be a successful mathematician, then now you're not just you, but then now you really want to uh, connect to be a mathematician. So now this actually creates changes who you are. So that's why belief has a big impact, I think, on people. And we, I think, underestimate uh, this word and the action it requires. So when you create the connection, and again, in the religious context, if you think about it, in a faithful context, if you think about it, this also creates you to creates a connection between you and God. So now you're no longer just yourself, your name, but then now you're basically the servant of God. So it kind of gives you a different title and now creates this ongoing action for you. Because if you want to be a soccer player, now you have to practice soccer all uh, week long, right? Or if you want to be really successful at your work, now you really, really have to focus on that and then get to do the steps which takes you there. If you want to be a successful mathematician, then now you really need to keep learning, keep improving yourself and keep understanding what's going on in math in today's world, right? So this kind of elevates you being just a um, person to many more aspects of you, yourself. Um, and when after the connection really establishes, I think the second thing that really belief as an action does for you is it, it creates a uh, different perspectives in everything you look at in life, right? So your food is not just food anymore because if you want to be a successful soccer player, now you really have to think about what you eat much more carefully. If you're a faithful person, now you have to guide your food with the faith you are in, right? Or if you want to be a very successful in the corporate world, you know, lunch times become your networking time. So what you eat becomes less important, but that time becomes more important, right? So everything in your life now has a new meaning, you know, not only yourself, but then now with the perspective that you create, the, the, the time you wake up changes, the time you go to bed changes. So everything evolves around basically now your belief in, in yourself or in God or in the goal that you want to accomplish. So the third piece I think that the belief gives to these people, and I think you see this in every aspect of, of life, right? I mean, when you think about the, you know, a passionate president, you know, like Obama or, or a, you know, passionate um, basketball player, you know, right, uh, like an Escantar, or if you want to think about a successful musician, you know, all of these people have something in common, and that actually is the strength. Strength, no matter if they fail or if they do great, they don't change. And this is actually, I think, the biggest accomplishment of belief. 
Like if you want to be a mathematician, if you fail your math test, or if you don't think now you're getting there, the belief actually brings you up and creates a, a strength for you to continue because it pushes you forward. It pushes you that now, okay, you couldn't manage it this way. Now you can manage it this way, right? It, it kind of uh, motivates you to create different uh, possibilities or uh, different ways to reach uh, wherever you want to go. And I think this is the same concept that we use in, in, in religion and in faith, because then now it creates strength for you. When you fail, when you do things that you shouldn't be doing, you come back still to the same belief. Because again, if it was just acceptance, then it would be just a passive uh, verb, right? You would just accept it and move on. And if you derailed, then you don't come back because now you may maybe change your opinion about it because it becomes an opinion. But belief, because it's a continuous action, now you come back again. If you want to be a great soccer player and you were motivated and you really didn't practice much or you didn't really do what needs to be done for soccer play, being a great soccer player, then now you can come back because you have the strength, because you have the belief that you're going to get there. Um, so these are some of the concepts that I really want to kind of discuss about belief because uh, pretty recently, uh, I've been to a training. It was it was called a, a self awareness training uh, given by a Harvard professor, and I was very impressed to learn that they did the research and they found out that the people, many of the people, actually think that the happiness is connected to everything outside of themselves. And actually, they found out with the research and the perspective, ninety percent of the happiness lies within themselves, their connection, their perspective, and their passion. Uh, which only comes with belief, if you think about it. And only 10% is really the outside uh, influences that you can imagine, you know, because outside influences is also, you know, connected to your belief system. Um, so this is what I want to talk to you about today. So hopefully we can meet again at some point in another concept.